Hello, and welcome to the channel. In today's episode, I am still cleaning out the freezer. And today, I have these last three bags of broccoli that I'm going to defrost and dehydrate. If you'd like to see me do that, stay tuned. Don't you cry, just let go. The reason why I am going to dehydrate these last three bags of broccoli is because I have not found a safe way to can it. If you know of a safe way to can broccoli, leave me a comment in the comment box below. I greatly appreciate your comment. So after this has defrosted, I'm going to rinse it off, pat it dry, and get it in the dehydrator. So let's get to dehydrating some broccoli so that I can make it for a dry soup mix. Now that the broccoli has defrosted a little bit more, I'm going to rinse it out and let it drip dry in this bowl and colander. I hope you guys can see. I have a bowl and colander here. I'm gonna place the broccoli I can move all of my canning stuff that I've washed and covered up. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so I'm gonna open up each bag, dump it inside the colander, give it a rinse, and let it drain. Now that the broccoli has been rinsed and shaken a little bit, I'm gonna let it sit here and drain for about 15, 20 minutes before I get it in the dehydrator. It is the very next day. I had to get some rest. I had a very busy day yesterday, so different watch color. My dehydrator has been running nonstop, so disregard the plantain stuff you see. Once I finish this run, I'm going to clean it out. I don't care that it has plantains on it. So I'm going to get the broccoli into the dehydrator. The dehydrator is full. I have another full batch. I have mushrooms, two different types of mushrooms and some ginger in here. So there is no telling what it's going to taste like, but I've got some uh, lion's mane mushrooms, some uh, shiitake mushrooms, uh, and of course my hands are clean. I've been washing my hands as I go. I have some ginger that I felt like I wanted to add to my tea cabinet because my ginger is running a little low and I just dropped a piece of broccoli all the way down to the bottom so I'll have to grab that. So yes, it has been a busy preservation weekend and I am not done yet so i am going to fill up these last two trays with as much broccoli as i can fit on here and then i'm going to turn it on and that's it it's another late night so i am off to bed and i'll see you guys in the morning just in case you're wondering what I'm going to do with this little bit of broccoli that is left, it's going in the instant vortex oven because that is a dehydrator as well. So I'm going to take the temperature down. Nope, what am I doing? That's the time. Hello. Um, I think I might leave it on 160. I'm going to have to look it up because I think... It's either 160 or 175, but I'm going to turn that on and dehydrate the rest of the broccoli in the instant vortex oven. Start. I'll see you tomorrow. It's the next morning and the dehydrator is done. I don't know how many hours that took because I put it on last night. I got in the bed. I turned it off this morning when I got up. So the vortex oven has also finished its dehydration processes i went ahead and took out the broccoli from there because i was using the vortex oven a little while ago as you can see and i hope that's not too bright for you all 
I do dry broccoli. This is broccoli that I dehydrated. This is also moringa leaves that I dehydrated, you know, because you got you to sneak some stuff in. <laughs> I went ahead and ground those down pretty much. I cannot say that I am going to grind this down, but for right now, and I've already washed and dried my hands because you do not want to have wet hands when you're trying to put away your dry goods. So what I'm going to do, instead of using my hand, I'm going to see... I don't know if you all can see my camera is facing away from me so I don't know what you all can and can't see but let's see if I can do it like that can y'all see that that might be that might cause me some some pain and suffering I might drop everything all over the place that don't have a funnel actually I do have a funnel let me get a funnel let me stop playing. Let me get a funnel. Okay. Let's do this without dropping everything all over the place. See, now my funnel doesn't fit in there. That's not going to work. Let me try another one. Okay, I grabbed another one. Oh, that one's a smaller one. Fits perfectly. So let's see if I can get this in the jar without spilling it all over the place because I don't want to lose my broccoli. And I'm right-handed, so you all have to please forget. See, I'm already dropping stuff on the floor, I think. <clears throat> Let me, forgive me if I'm in the way. I'm right-handed. So I'm going to try it like that. There we go. I'm going to have to push it in. Okay. So what I'm finding out is I'm not going to be able to put all of my broccoli. Oh, see, I'm making a mess. Can't take me anywhere. My goodness. I'm not going to be able to put all of my broccoli because I have two trays in this particular dehydrator. So I am going to have to get another container and put the broccoli in that. So let me go find another container so I can put my broccoli in there. Cause I wanna keep all the broccoli, even the dehydrated broccoli that I've ground down, I wanna keep everything in one container. Cause it doesn't matter if it's ground down, if you're using it for the same purpose. So let me find another, found jar. another jar. And this one, all of my jars that you see that I'm using are re are reused. They had other purposes from the store. And I hit that pop top like that. That's called a lug lid. Uh, I just wanna give you guys a little information. This is not a canning video, but you, if you've watched my videos before, you know I do can. Um, you know if you've canned before, you can purchase lug lids. So you can recan in some of your jars. What I would do is test them out first and use water. Let them seal, leave them on the shelf for a while and see if they stay sealed. But you can recan. It is not FDA um, required. They, they, they don't suggest you do that. But if you don't have the means to go out and buy a bunch of canning jars, like I have canning jars, because they're getting more and more expensive, don't say to yourself, I can't do because I don't have. Try store-bought jars. You, I use them for dry goods, but you might be able to can in these. I do know there are people in Europe who they do can in store-bought jars. There's even a, a lady that I happen to come across in the United States. She also cans in store-bought jars, but they have to have the lug lid. And they have to have that little bubble in the center. I've never done it but it's worth a try if you find yourself uh, needing to do that. So I'm going to transfer what I have in this jar into this jar, and then I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of this broccoli out and see if it'll all fit in here. So let me try that. Okay, I did pack the broccoli completely in that jar. I had to smoosh it down a little bit, but those two trays of broccoli fit in that jar relatively perfect or perfectly and so now I just have a couple pieces left in this jar as well as what I ground down so I am going to transfer it into this jar because it doesn't matter if it's ground down to me or if it is left whole for the purposes that I'm going to use it for I am going to use it for soups or whatever if I need to make some broccoli. Now this is the hardest part for me. You just gotta shake it down because it's gonna fit. There's room. 
but you have to shake it down in there so that it falls in between the broccoli pieces. And I'm trying not to shake it to the point to where I'm throwing broccoli out of the jar because that's what happened a little bit ago when I first started this process. So I'm just gonna pour it in like so. Get it in there. And I hope you guys can see. So this will be my broccoli jar. And I have a moisture pack in there. Let me take that out for right now. And that's pretty much it. This is me finishing off my broccoli. I hope you all enjoyed this quick video. I don't think I've shown you all me dehydrating broccoli before. As you can see, I do dehydrate broccoli, which is how I have the ground up one. But if you like this video, do me a favor, share this video, like this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can see when I upload videos every week. And I hope to see you either in my kitchen or my garden real soon. So if you're not dehydrating your food and putting it on the shelf, go ahead and dehydrate your food and put it on the shelf. Make more room in your freezers for other things. That way you can have what you need when you need it. Bye for now.